Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Fummy in the Philippines. Go you bastards! Happy Sunday and happy birthday to Bliss. Yes, remember Panobo Noel's birthday was last Friday, a couple of, couple of days back? Well, apparently it's his missus' birthday today. I'm not going to tell you how old she is because I haven't got that many fingers on my hand to count, you know. But um, happy birthday, Bliss. And that was a message sent through from John to say, Bliss's birthday Sunday, but don't tell anyone. How's that? Oh, we got visitors. Hi. Okay, mate. So this is Martin. Martin's from the UK. He come all the way from the UK just to see us on the farm. Isn't that bloody amazing? Oh, shit! Joking. <laughs> but he's from the UK, though, yes? Yes, indeed. He. Indeed. So he's on the UK. He's going to um, retire here and um, see what he's looking around. Started at the top and working his way down. You've been a few weeks now, haven't you? Six weeks, yeah. Six weeks. So he's been here six weeks, seeing what area is nice, what's good, what's bad, what's shitful, and what's great, all that type of stuff. Because do your research, guys. Have your dream. Don't let your dream die, but do your research first. You don't want to go to some place, spend all your money, and make your farm and find out it's a fucking shithole. You know? Not saying there's us shitholes in the Philippines, because life's better in the Philippines, you know? Oh, <laughs> get fucked. Right. So, Bliss, happy birthday to you. Hope you're having a great day. And I hope that John's looking after you and the little granddaughter as well, the little cutie. Always talks so much, talks as much as me. So what's happening on the farm? Well, we've got all this cleaned down this morning. So all this was pressure cleaned down so the air can blow through it all again. Well, look, I missed a bit there. Shit. So it's all wet inside. That keeps the dust down again. So this has all been uh, hit. It's all clean, air flowing through. So I'm happy as a pig. Another bit I missed here. Not to worry. But um, that's all done there. I've done the turkey house as well for the airflow and the keeps the mosquitoes out which is bloody good but like I say you've got to keep the dust down because the chickens go into their dust bath there'll be like light winds blowing and all that type of stuff all right so it all comes up but now nice and clean Happy oh fuck what that was a fucking snake then god this is the material that oh, scared the shit out of me bastard bastard so that's all done. I've got all it through here raked up. This is all done. Lots of little babies again. I left. See these little bastards here? What happened was I left the, um, the door. It wasn't secured properly. And the door opened up. I come to feed them and they're all on the ground. And I went, uh-oh. So not to worry, I'm leaving her there. So Bing Maria, guys, I know there's a lot of fans who love Bing Maria. Here she is. She's still going good. She had the babies next door, and uh, we've brought them all in here. So they're all going good. Happy. The young ones are going good. Naughty boy, Mr. Grey and Red, he's running around shagging and he's terrorising the girls. So I had to lock him up. I'll find a chain for him. I've got chains. to find somewhere for him. Chocolate, another one of my popular girls. Look at her. She is gorgeous. Chocolate. So she's the same. She, she was in a nest over with um, Mary Lou over there. So lots of babies at the moment. So I'm going to let this two more nests inside that um, the hens are on. I'm going to let them finish hatching them out. Then I'm going to clean it all back up and I'm going to go to collecting eggs again because we've got far too many. We've got far too many again now. So we'll go back to eggs. And people say, what do you do with the eggs? Well, we give them away to people. Is what we do. Ah, oh, ah, oh, there you go. It's the Vietnam, Vietnam son, the original Vietnam died, got killed by the turkeys. So, we're going to uh, go back to collecting eggs again. And uh, we get, get a lot of eggs, you know, you get probably around 20 a day. That's what we're getting out of it, so you can't eat that many. So, like I said, someone will come and visit us and um, we'll see, take, take a tray of eggs with you. Or we'll go into town and visit someone and they take, take some eggs with you. So, we'll be going back to that again. Should be good. Durians are everywhere, falling off the tree. Durians, durians, durians. Place stinks like hell, I'm telling you. But apart from that, <sighs> nothing, nothing. Gotta put this in. In, in. Right, so none of the girls are all out at the moment. That's strange. None of them are all sitting on the nest. Right, three little pigs. Well, they're going good. What I've done is I've sprayed the. Um, Mama's old hotel, again, that's been sprayed, shit, I don't know, more than half a dozen times, that's been sprayed. 
So um, I'm just giving it another spray now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer the three little baby pigs into there. Because we've got a pen separating them between uh, pen number two is empty and the other two are in number three. So they're going all right. They're solid as hell. Big fat bastards. And these guys are just getting too big for the box. Too big. Hey, princess. Say hello. This is my little princess. Right, she's one little mark on her head. Sort of like, hello. Hello. Right, uh. hey, so look, look at these bastards. Look. Fat as fuck. I tell you. But they're getting too big for here because they need the room to sleep. Uh. Say hello. Yeah, so they're getting too big. So I'll spray that down, we'll let it dry for the after till for this afternoon and we'll transfer them in there. I've got a bag of uh, rice holes to uh, make up a bed for them to sleep on so uh, and to play and um, I'll, I'll put that in the same as I did the others. As you know, I'm not a fan on rice holes on everyday use where they shit and piss on it and they just keep adding it and adding it and adding it. It's like absolutely disgusting. I like to hose them down every day. But uh, for the little young ones, I always put a bag of rice holes in there just so they can play around and root around. And, you know, when they sleep, they're not on the cold concrete. Even though I put mats in there for them underneath the heat lamp, they move the mats away. So it's like, fuck me. So there you go, guys. That's us on the farm. So it's a Sunday. So I'm going to say TTFN. To coffee time, bliss, happy birthday from us all on the Aussie farm in the Philippines. And check, say hello to Bliss. Happy birthday, Auntie Bliss. Happy 50th birthday. Oh, you, oh, you bad girl. Oh, see you later, guys.